Today I'm going to introduce you to the FlySky PL18 transmitter setup for operating H1 unit. Let's power on the transmitter now. Select yes and go. Let's click the menu. Find the model setting. Let's select a new model, such as model 7 and click yes. Then you can choose model 1 or model 2. After the selection, we will carry out a function assign. Find the func assign select channel 5. Channel 5 is the mode switch. We choose the SWB as the mode switch. Then we flip it and click back. We find this sticker and mark it. Alright we're on channel 7. Channel 7 is motor arm and disarm. We set it to this switch. Flip it and click back. Find the sticker and make a mark. So let's set up channel 8. Channel 8 is semi-automatic flight. Set to SWD and click back. Find the sticker and mark it. Finally let's set channel 9. Set this switch as inverted flight. Now let's do the bind operation. First we go to the RX settings. Change to S bus mode. So the first line is the bind. We don't have to click on that. So we take the receiver. Here's bind. And we find the one that comes with it. Insert line into bind port. Then take a 4 to 5 volts power supply. Insert the negative electrode down into either port. After the red light flash, click bind with receiver. OK bind is OK. When the red light is solid, cut down the power, plug it in again, and the red light is always on. That's success. Next we connect the receiver to the H1 unit. First the receiver line is plugged into the flight control RCIN port. The yellow line is down, into the servo port of the receiver. The yellow line is up. Then plug the USB into the flight control and connect to the computer. At this point, select the corresponding COM port on the computer and click connect. Let's push the throttle. Neg. Pass. Tail left. Tail right. Aileron right. Aileron left. All of them are correct. Forward backward. Elevator is reverse. We found the reverse setting. Let's reverse channel 2. Let's try again that's correct. Let's look at channel 5. The return to home is shown here in 3D. Channel 5 rev and click on it. That's right. Channel 6 is not set. Channel 7 is for motor arm and disarm. The reverse let's reverse channel 7. Channel 8 is correct. That's right. So let's do the joystick calibration. Click the joystick calibration. We turn two joysticks. Put them in the middle and D click finish. A dialog box pops up. All max values and mini values are basically the same. Click OK. Let's take a look at the FS settings and power the transmitter off. Software prompt us transmitter signal. Then FS is set successfully. 
Next we'll install the flight control on the helicopter for the mechanical adjusting.